a woman climbs stairs. I'm Lucy Edwards. I am a blind broadcaster and content creator. I'm Yagazi Mezi. I am a photojournalist. I'm interested in how women adapt to their changing circumstances, whether that's their health, sexuality, or human rights. I lost my eyesight at 17. But my motto is, I'm blind, not broken. She reads a braille title, World Unseen. I'm Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice and this is Miss you. Molly. Hi. <laughs> the guide a little rest. <laughs> What's your audio description? What do you look like? I have long braided hair. I have a denim jacket, black pants, and a lot of silver accessories. Can you tell me a bit about you? Well, I lost my eyesight in my right eye at age 11 and my left at 17. My world went from light to dark very quickly. Now I move through the world with my fingers, which I call my finger eyes. I love uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> I started making videos back in 2014. I just did my makeup and talk about the journey I've been on. And I think so many people resonated with seeing themselves in a different way. You know, how I really delved into photography was with one of my personal projects, documenting people that have gone through different sorts of physical traumas that have left them with scars on their bodies. I grew up in Nigeria. As a child, a car hit me and ended up dragging me along the streets and people had to run out to stop the car. My leg was so mangled that the scar remains. At 16, I moved to the United States and people will just stare. They're not even looking at your face. And then I got into university, woke up one day and said, I'm fed up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put on these pair of hot shorts. Nice. <laughs> you know, it's like, what's the process of accepting our bodies? I think that we've come to love and appreciate all of our flaws and all of our differences. Being different is beautiful. I am the thing that is amazing and the rest of the world needs to be fixed rather than the other way around. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but like beauty is everywhere, you know, so I don't look at the rigidity that, you know, society puts on us. None of that is real in my world. And I would love for you to come and experience one of my images I in person. I love that so okay. much. Great. The Agassi leads Lucy to a large, colorful picture covered in braille. She guides Lucy's hand to the top left corner. Lucy runs her hands over the picture and her brows go up. Oh my gosh, is this Braille? <gasps> a woman stands facing <laughs> a two-tone wall. The physical reminder of her injury is something she will wear for the rest of her days. Lucy covers her face, overcome with emotion. Yeah, come along. Come along, Miss Molly. Now Lucy feels a tactile print. Oh my gosh, how did you do this? She runs her fingers over the raised contours of a woman's form. Just let your fingers feel her scar. Her scar. She touches the indented and stippled scar. Oh my god, will I be able to do this with other photos? This is crazy. Audio description is like an afterthought. I was used to the detail. I love it because it's true colour. Never thought like we'd have photos ever again. Okay, do you want a hug? They embrace. <laughs> oh, I love your hair. <laughs> Lucy's fingers scan the relief image again. It's so beautiful, Yagazi. Thank you. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you. They walk away, and our view focuses on Yagazi's framed picture mounted on the wall. It features a woman in a pink dress and red hat, facing away with a scar visible on her shoulder. White text appears on a black screen. World unseen. Canon.